Welcome to Cold Corner, I'm Asheron. And I'm Inferno. And tonight we have a review of Dario Argento's cult classic, Suspiria. Yes, uh, we actually have reviewed this movie before, but this is the Steelbook edition. Yeah, we're just going to be reviewing the Steelbook as itself, not the movie. Um, we've uh, already reviewed this uh, movie in a previous video, so if you want to check that out, just go down and check it and what we thought about it. So Yeah. And we really like it, by the way. So. Um, this edition is the 4K Special 40 Anniversary Edition. Uh, it contains the original uncut Italian 35mm camera negative with color correction supervised by the Director of Photography, Luciano Taboli. Um, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's a much, it's a big improvement from uh, the DVD. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, if you don't have the DVD, this is kind of a revamped one. It, the DVD had the soundtrack plus the bonus, fe uh, bonus features as well as the movie. This is the same thing but in 4K. And you get two different um, choices here. You mm -hmm. get the Italian version mm -hmm. and you get the international version. Yes. And that's what we all grew up with was the international version. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people haven't seen the uh, uh, Italian version but it's really cool. Um, and uh, Dara Nicoldi actually um, is the voice of the witch, um, oh. the main witch in there, but yeah, it, but it's not an American version, but only in the Italian she is, and you can hear that, which is pretty cool. And this also has a 4.0 4. soundtrack, which has never been released on video before. Yes, it was from the uh, original theatrical yeah. 77 release, and hasn't been heard since then. And that would be the English sound mix. Yeah. Um, it also comes with two audio commentaries by uh, different authors, uh, and they happen to also be Argento scholars, uh, Derek Pothillo, David Delval, and Troy Howarth. Howarth? Howarth. And it also, it actually has a lot of features, this thing. Yeah. Um, it has, it has a, a 40th anniversary feature, I believe, mm -hmm. or something like that, 40 mm -hmm. years of Suspiria. Yeah, so um, which is really cool, and it goes into detail about um, the making of Suspiria mm -hmm. and how people receive it nowadays. It's really cool and a very uh, informative uh, featurette. Yeah, and it also has a really cool featurette on um, the different German locations from Nazi Germany that mm -hmm. they used in the filming yeah. of this. Um, as well, yeah, like the woods where Hitler yeah. had his secret bunker, uh, yeah. bunker there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it also has a 30 minute essay of uh, Do You Know Anything About Witches? Yeah, and it's about um, basically a fan of Suspiria talking about how he first saw Suspiria like when he was a young, like, I think it was 2001, and he was seeing like he was into horror films, but this film blew him away, and he, you know, he didn't see anything like this previously, and it just kind of just moved him so much. and. Yeah, and it kind of like was a part of his life and he wanted to talk about it. And this is just kind of a, a featurette that just, you know, talks about his passion, how he explains his passion for this film. And it's really cool. So definitely check that out. Um, also has a lot more stuff. It has obviously the original trailers. Um, mm -hmm. TV spots. TV spots, radio, radio spots. spots yeah. um, you name it, it's on there. Yeah, um, it's An interview with Barbara Magnolfi. Um, yeah, there's two separate interviews yeah. here. No. Um, One's more scholarly, um, so if you, were, if you were doing an essay on this movie, mm -hmm. um, you'd find every every little bit, uh, bit of information about this movie. And the second one is more kind of based in a fan kind of um, thought process, mm -hmm. you know, artsy. Mm -hmm. um, two people who really love Suspiria and they're, they're really talking about it on a fan level that how, how they enjoy it and they point out the colors and, and this is the art value of it and so it's really cool. Yes, this also includes the opening credit sequence uh, from the U.S. release, mm -hmm. slash international release, yeah. as well as an all-new English opening and closing credit sequences that weren't seen previously. Right. Yeah. Um, also, it comes with a new booklet. Yeah. Well, here's a slipcover. Ah. And here. I do love the artwork on that slipcover. Oh, I love that artwork. That is just so amazing. And here's kind of here's the hallway. It's a famous, infamous mm -hmm. hallway. Very occult looking, you know, in the design of it. I think it's really cool. And yeah, it comes with a booklet. Mm -hmm. And yeah, here's the little booklet. This is Spiria. Yeah, it's a nice booklet. 
Yeah, um, well, they talked about how um, they filmed the coloring mm -hmm. of the movie, like all the bright colors, everything you see in the Suspiria, why you love it. Um, in depth. Next page. Okay. So and it also has a remaster of the soundtrack and it actually has additional tracks to it that weren't previously released. Yeah, here's the the two Blu-rays and the CD soundtrack. Yeah. And I love the CD soundtrack on this. this it's one of the, it's yeah. arguably the best horror soundtrack ever made. Mm -hmm. I love Goblin. They're just amazing. Yeah. And like to do some of if you don't really know what this movie's about, it's basically about a ballet dancer, mm -hmm. and she goes to Germany to this special academy, this renowned academy, mm -hmm. and when she gets there. Things kind of don't. Yeah, things are don't kind seem of, right. They're all kind, kind of, of weird, out of place. And come to find out, it's run by a whole bunch of witches. Yeah. So I'm sure uh, you've seen this. I mean, why are you watching Cold Corner if you haven't? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, this is an awesome movie. This was mm -hmm. limited to six thousand worldwide. Yes. And, so um, if you're gonna get it, uh, it's yeah. starting to get a bit more difficult. I missed out on this first run, so yeah, I had to pay a pretty penny for this, but uh, it's well worth it. They, they, they're doing a line of uh, Argentos. This is, um, I think this is the third. They did Phenomena, Tenebra, and also, you know, they did Popcorn. I think there's another one, I'm not sure, but they're really cool, very collectible, and um, how could you not? This is one of the best horror fil uh, films ever made. Uh, love this film. Uh, amazing soundtrack. Um, just. Scary, creepy, um, wicked, gory in places. It was an awesome time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. That's our, uh, how do you how do you read this um, awesome steelbook? That was ten out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, ten out of ten. It's a yeah. it's a really really good production yeah. of the steelbook, and they did a really good job on it all. And I, you wouldn't think that you could improve on the colors and everything, but they did. Yeah, and then add more features to mm -hmm. it, you know, yeah. and some hidden stuff, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so pick this up before you pay insane prices. I mean, uh, there's only a few made, you know, so get it before it's gone or you're out of luck. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you like what we do, subscribe. We'll see you next time. At Ron Inferno out of here. Hail the horror. Hail the horror.